Hi everyone, this is Tony Huang. I'm the founder of Tech Execs Network. We're a national network of senior IT technology professionals and executives. Today, we're very proud to be here on June 16th, 2011 at Camp Invention. Camp Invention is about creating innovation and using various different materials. And uh, we're gonna be grabbing a couple campers for a quick sound bite. And uh, this, later on this afternoon, they're gonna have a showcase of all the things that they've created. So come with me and grab a couple campers. So let's hear about how their camp went this week. Here's one of the campers. Her name is Madeline. How are you, Madeline? Good. So how old are you? I'm 11 years old. So what grade is that? I'm fifth grade and sixth grade. Why did you come to Camp Invention? Why is inventing things important? Well, it's just a good start, you know, just have fun, learn new things. We've invented a, a contraption that you have to make a ball somehow lift up a flag. And actually, ours was very successful. We actually, it took a couple of tries, you know, we just, um, we actually had to reconstruct the whole thing. We fell, fell over and we were like, oh gosh. So we restarted with the whole idea and it just, I guess that's what you get. We try, try it again. It works out. With technology going so fast, you know, with like all the iPhones and the iPads, it's just going to go super far. I mean, we'll have flying cars and, you know, things just crazy. You're going to invent the flying car, right? Mm, we'll see. <laughs> Another camper, his name is Drew. So what's up, Drew? Nothing much. I'm just learning a lot of stuff in Game of Thrones. So I heard that your mom told me you're very smart. Is that, is that how it goes? Yeah. What did you learn so We've far? Learned, I've learned in a class called Wild that a fire beetle can see a fire from 12 miles away. How do they do that? They use red light vision, I think. Yeah. So what have you invented so far? I've invented a ramp that can that puts a ball from the top of a machine all the way to a bottom and it hits a piece of cardboard that makes a flag come up and it tells you that you won. What do you want to do when you grow up? I want to be an inventor and invent lots of cool stuff. Well, that's awesome. Thank you so much. With me is another camper. His name is Ben. What's up, Ben? Uh, nothing except for myself. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. So, what did you learn so far at this camp? Well, I've learned that duct tape is a lot stronger than tin foil. That's pretty good. What did you create? Well, um, a lot of things. Mostly, uh, mostly a marvel, a ball rut, and a how should I put it? Um, a fort. Okay. So, for for us older folks, right, in technology, are there some wisdom or advice that you want to tell us? about your invention capabilities? Mm, well, you are the older folks in the technology, but I guess I'll say something. Well, the well, the one thing right now I'm working on is that I want to figure out how this um, bouncy ball will trigger a flag that will say winner, because this ball is also known as a Rude Goldberg machine. So uh, are you creating the design on your own, or did someone help you? I have lots of people that help me, lots. Uh, work in a team or you guys work by yourself? Team. Team. Um, six, seven. Would you say um, that you're one of the smartest kids here? Could be. Not, I don't really know many of the uh, kids uh, kids here, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to take my chances and say that it could be. Cool. So what do you want to do when you grow up? I'm an architect. Definitely an architect. With me is Chelsea, how are you? I'm good, thank you. What's your role here? Um, I work as a teacher in the recess, or I guess it's not really recess, it's, we take it more as recess where we invent games and things to do with the kids and then we can invent new games or create new ways to play the games so that the kids learn something and they're not very competitive, it's more about teamwork and cooperation. So you're a camp counselor? I am a counselor. How many counselors are there? I think somewhere around 10 maybe. So what are the kids learning? I mean, have you seen some of the activities? Are they really engaging in it, or what do you think? I think it has a lot to do with imagination, and it's, it's really interesting to see um, the different imaginations that they all have in all the activities that they do. Some of the games they come up, like we gave them a bunch of things with uh, water balloons and sponges and water, and just some of the games that they came up with were really incredible. I would have never thought of them. With me is Andy, one of the instructors here at the Camp Invention. How are you? Doing well, thank you. Kids behaving? As much as can be expected. 
What have they learned so far? We are making um, either Rube Goldberg machines or ball rolling machines. So this, after, this is the fourth day. Uh, what's going to happen this afternoon? Um, we are going to have an inventor's showcase where they will show off all of the inventions that, that they have. I think it's um, a chance for them to learn something about math and science, um, which unfortunately are two skills that seem to be lacking in our society. I, I think we ought to do what we can to change that, and you have to start at a young age, and that's what we're doing here. Camp Invention! We pretty much try to have fun all the time, but try to be a little bit serious also. Start off with a game in the morning, um, and then um, all sorts of things throughout the day, that we have a game at lunch and a game before we go. We're trying to do fun things in all of the classes. Uh, sometimes in mind they're working harder than they do in some of the others, it seems like to me at least, um, because sometimes we don't get to have that much fun, but the kids really love it when their machines work, so that's fun for them too. Lance and Andrew, how are you guys? Good. So what did you learn so far, Lance? Through the, how, how many days has it been? Four days, right? Four days. Uh, we learned about Edison's, how Edison did really create the light bulb. He just made it better. And how scientists use other animals for their inventions. What about you, Andrew? What did you learn? Learned that, um, that if two atoms come together, they make a molecule. And did you create something yet? Yeah, we, me and Lance, we created a contraption that hits a flag and it says winner. Do you like it, Lance? Yeah. Is it going to blow people away? Maybe. Maybe. So when are you guys going to be showcasing this afternoon? Um, we're going to be showcasing uh, everything we made so far. How are you, Austin? Good. So what do you learn so far about the camp? Uh, how to build stuff and how to build like robots. Made like like when you took when you hit the ball, it'll roll down and into a tube, and it'll knock over a flag, and it says winner. But crazy hair day! Everybody was like has had like spray like hairspray in their hair. And crazy hat day! Like there was a kid with like a metal hat. With me is Marilyn Carter. She's one of the camp directors here today at the Camp Invention. So what is this camp about? It's all about um, hands-on science, engaging lessons. The kids are working on creating, inventing, redesigning, um, a lot of trial and error, making, taking all old broken appliances and turning them into another new creation to solve a problem, some type of different problem. It might look like a whole bunch of tape, and duct tape and trash, but it's actually a, an invention to help solve a problem, maybe to get a group of people off of a new undiscovered planet. Why, why is science and math and in, innovation and invention important? It's part of the 21st century learning. The kids have to be ready for the future. They have to be able to work as a team, which we do a lot of teamwork here. They have to be able to be good problem solvers. So they're working on different problems that, are, that have been given to them through the curriculum. The curriculum is all hands-on, very engaging, intriguing. I call it learning through fun. They don't even know. They're just they're having a great time learning so many things. They're engineering, um, inventing, making all kinds of things that they really need to tell you about. It, you know, if they, that, they're going through a process. They're doing what real inventors do. They're actually going through the steps that a real inventor might go through to solve a problem. This year we have 86 children at our camp. Most years we have about 110, 116 kids. And they come back year after year after year. What are the age, like what's the age limits? It's from children entering first grade all the way up to sixth grade. Then once uh, most of our kids have hit sixth grade, they all decide they loved it so much they come back and volunteer or they become camp counselors once they get old enough. The kids always enjoy the fun activities throughout the day, like each day they might have um, crazy hair day, they might have a pajama day, they might have a uh, crazy hat day, and we try to get them to create and invent their own new hats. Their hats might do something special. The kids like those special kind of days. The primary sponsor is the United States Patent and Trademark Office. With me is Carol Hawkins. She is the principal and the administrator for Faith Lutheran School. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you, Tony? 
So it's great to have you as a venue host for t this year's uh, Camp Invention here in Sugarland, Texas. So what do you think? Well, it was a great program coming in, and we were really excited that uh, we had an opportunity to serve the community, and we had a lot of kids come through. The Faith Lutheran School is about providing a safe environment for children to um, become spiritually, physically, and educationally successful. We're in the heart of Sugarland, the sweetest little school around. One of the goals for our school is to reach out to the community and let the community know that here we are, we've been here for a long time, and to invite them to become educational partners with us. Right, we started a, a Boy Scout program here years ago, Troop 992, and we have graduated many Eagle Scouts, and so we're very proud of that. We also host I-9 Sports, which is a wonderful program where children can come and learn the skills in the morning and actually play a game later on and they go on to their awards ceremonies at the end of eight weeks so that's a great um, program also this summer we are hosting a volleyball uh, camp two basketball camps and we just uh, opened up the doors for SAT study skills sessions so we're pretty busy this summer and it's just great reaching out to the community and letting them know that we have time and space for them www faith lutheran school and or faith lutheran church i hope you enjoy the different sounds by with some of the campers and also some of the teachers that were here today again today is june 16 2011 we're here at, at camp invention and my name again is tony huang i'm the founder of tech execs if you're not able to send your kids to the camp this year uh, definitely check them out online our website is www.camp invention.org